Today's video is a Thrift With Me at Goodwill video that quickly turned into a What Sold on eBay video. I paid $96 for the entire lot and three of these items have already sold for $175. Those of you that follow me on Instagram know that I like to play a game I call buy or pass while I'm thrifting at the Goodwill store. Let's take a look at some of those items to see if I bought, if I passed, and if it sold. This Build-A-Bear dressed kitty cat was actually 25 cents. I asked my Instagram followers if they would buy or pass. 60% said buy, while 40% said pass. This India Pale Ale beer sign was two dollars. Forty one percent said buy while fifty nine percent said pass. This pair of Solomon hiking shoes were fifteen dollars. They were marked up. Twenty seven percent said buy while the majority at seventy three percent said pass. Now let's see did I buy or pass. If you don't already follow me on Instagram please do. I'm at peace.of.scrap. I stopped by Goodwill on my lunch hour, so I was in there for less than one hour. I came back with all of these goods. I spent close to $100 at $96.60. I did pay up for a few things, and I will show you what they are. Stick around throughout the video as some of these items have sold already, and I will let you know how much money I made on each one of these and how long it took them to sell. Starting in the bottom right-hand corner, I have two Build-A-Bears. Now both these bears were dressed. I did strip the pink kitty as it was a Disney princess costume. These Build-A-Bears dressed were 25 cents as they were unmarked. The kitty cat does meow when you push his paw. And there is also a colorful rainbow pastel teddy bear. It also plays music, so that's super cool. This is a Starbucks Barista Bear dated 2009. Again, the stuffed plush animals were 25 cents each. Over here is a pair of silver denim jeans. They charge me $4.75 for these. I always pick up the silver denim jeans. Here's a plus size Torrid denim shorts, new with tag. They charged me $3.75 for those. And the Oshkosh bib overalls, these are girls size 7. They charged me $3 for those. Here's a pair of Koi scrub pants. Koi is a brand I always pick up in the scrub wear. They charged me $3.75 for that. The Koi scrub pants sold within two days of listing. I sent an offer to Watcher for $24.92 plus $7 shipping. So the buyer was over $31 all in. My profit on the Koi scrub pants, $17.59. And then I stumbled upon all of these Victoria's Secret bras. Bras in my goodwill are $2 each. I'm going to lot these three together as they are very similar. The others I will list individually. This brown one here with the embroidered bust is Torrid plus size. It's a negligee. And the white one there is a Bally bra, new with tag. She charged me $2 for each of these. The shoes in the back are where it gets interesting. I did pay up for these shoes, but I do believe they will fetch more than their dollar value. These are Oboe's hiking shoes. I paid up for these at $15. Over here is Hoka hiking boots. They charged me just $6 for those. So again, as a reseller, their pricing makes no sense. Oboe's were 15, Hoka's six, so the Hoka shoes, I priced high at $149.99 across all my platforms. An offer came in for $90 plus $14 shipping within minutes of listing on eBay. I did decide to take that offer. $90 is $90. So my profit on the $6 pair of shoes was $76.28 within just 24 hours of listing. 
You can't beat that, right? And these Solomon shoes were also $15. These are Solomon women's trail running shoes. And over on Mercari, I sold these Solomon shoes. I paid up for these at $15. I listed them at 50 and the offer came in of $40 within 24 hours of listing. So I accepted that offer. My profit on these Solomon shoes when it was all said and done was $19.54. Again, I could have held out for more money on each of these shoes. However, as you know, shoes are big and bulky and I like to move them out as fast as possible since I simply do not have the storage available. And on the end over there is Star Wars Crocs, women's size six. In the back is a new sealed puzzle by Springbok with Santa Claus on it. Anytime I run across a sealed puzzle with a UPC code, I always punch that UPC code in on Amazon. This puzzle is already listed on Amazon. I paid $3 for it. On my lunch hour, I spent less than one hour and close to $100 on this lot of clothing, shoes, and stuffed plush animals that I plan to sell on eBay. I also did pick up a beer sign for $2 and I will get that listed as well. So to recap, I spent $98 during my lunch hour one afternoon at Goodwill. That was on Friday when I shopped at Goodwill. By Sunday when I went to ship the items, three of the items had already sold. Those items were the Koi scrub pants, the Hoka running shoes that I paid $6 for, and then the Salomon running shoes, which I did pay up for at 15. Those three items sold for $175 combined. And I still have the rest of my thrift lot to sell. Most of the items have been listed already. So if you're interested at all in any of those items, I will have the link to my eBay store in the description below. Subscribe to my channel to see which of these items I've sold since as I do post weekly what sold videos. I will link another what sold video here. Continue watching.